Hello guys and welcome to the short walkthrough where I am going to show you how you can use your new plugin, the Facebook star content plugin that uh, you will be able to install on your WordPress website and basically you will be able with it to post directly from Facebook, from news feeds, from different pages. Uh, you will be able to post directly on your website and this will basically help you to have new content all the time very good content and will also help help you to rank in Google faster. Now, first things first, what, what I want you to do is go on your WordPress website, log in to your administrator dashboard. And basically this will be the first thing that you will see your administrator dashboard. And you will see that in the left side part, you have a menu. In this menu, you have a section which is called plugins. Go into the plugin section. And if you look here in the upper part, you will have a button which says add new. Click on the add new button and then a new window will open and you will have a new button which says upload plugin. Click on the upload plugin, click on the choose file. Now your, uh, your plugin basically is on your computer. You have downloaded it, most probably it's in your downloads file. I have the address here. Okay, let me just look for it. It will take me just a second. So probably you will have it in your uh, in your uh, downloads uh, folder. So this is the, the plugin. Press open. Uh, press the button install now. Okay, bear with me for a couple of seconds till uh, the plugin is installed. You have to see this piece of text here to be sure that it's installed. Then click on the activate plugin button. And now as you can see here, your new plugin has appeared and it's also activated. Okay, you can deactivate it if you want to, but now it's activated. If we take a look in the left side menu, you can see that we have the new plugin, right? Installed here. Now, first things first, what we want to do is, uh, is uh, fill in these forms here from the settings of the plugin. So you have to go in the settings here and we have to fill in this form, okay? F, uh, with the Facebook app ID, Facebook app secret, okay? The Facebook page URL that we want to use and so on, okay? Now, first things first, what uh, also we want to do, okay, before setting up this, these things here, we want to set up a page in all pages, okay? Before setting, before, uh, setting the, the plugin, okay? We go to pages, we add a new page, okay? And in this new page, we have to add a piece of text, which I will show you in a minute. You can get that piece of text or code from your documentation file of the plugin. This is the one that you see here. Okay, now let me go back. Here we are, Facebook News. Okay, we will call our page. You have to pass that, uh, okay, that piece of code here, that short code, publish your new page. And now what we want to do is go to the Facebook developers page. This is the one. Okay, log in to your Facebook developers page if you are not already logged in. And in the right top corner, you will see that you have an option, my apps. Go and click on add a new app. Okay, give it a name. Let's call it test five. Press create app ID. You will have this, uh, okay, this captcha code here. I will try to walk you through this as fast as I can. Okay, and there you are. Here is our new app, okay? <clears throat> You'll have this, uh, this app ID here that you will want to click and copy, okay? Now, we want to go back to your administrator dashboard, okay? This page has already been created. Go to your new plugin, to the WordPress Facebook content star settings and you want to pass the new ID here, okay? Now let me go back to the developer page. Now what we want to do here in the developer page is go to the section add product, or first of all, go to app review, check your app review, your app is in development. What you want to do is make test five public. So first go here, make test five public. Yes, we have to choose a category, it doesn't matter, apps for pages. Press the button confirm. Okay, and this is it. Okay, now go to add product. In the add product uh, part, we want to select the Facebook login. We press get started. 
Okay, we want the web. And now what we want to do, tell us about your website, site URL. Okay, we want to go, we, we have no nothing to do here. We want to go in the settings option here. And here we have to put the link of our settings page from our WordPress website. So what I want you guys to do right now is go back into your administrator dashboard into this page, okay, into the settings page of your plugin, copy the address from your browser, go back to the developer, uh, de to, do, to Facebook developers, okay, paste your code here, press save changes, okay, and now basically you are good to go, right? What I want you to, to do right now is go to the dashboard, okay, uh, you have copied already your app ID, go to app secret, press show button. You have to type in your password, it's a double check from Facebook. Okay, copy your app secret code, okay. Go back into your administrator dashboard on WordPress, pass that code. And what you want to do right now is press the login button here, okay? In the administrator dashboard in the settings of your plugin. Press the login button and you can see that it says here, thanks for logging in, sorry, Konstantin. Sometimes uh, it will also appear a pop-up from Facebook to you, which says, do you allow this app to access your files and so on? I think you know that type of, uh, of pop-up. Obviously you have to hit the yes button there. Okay, so now your page is set up. What you want to do right now okay is add a new page here that you want to take news from okay to post them on your on your wordpress website and let me just check check a page here uh let me see let me see <clears throat> okay i think i will take this page dress boutique it's a page of mine okay it doesn't matter let me go back now okay this is the url okay add and this is our new our new Facebook page, okay, from which we will take news and post them on uh, on our WordPress website. Select page type, posts, feed, tagged, posts, okay. Number of posts to display, 10, comment limit, deactivate, deactivate, okay. So we have some settings here for what you want uh, your WordPress page where you show your Facebook news, okay, to display like like limit, enable single column and everything. I will save the changes, okay. And also you will have some text settings here. If you go in your plugin, okay, for the page where you display the news from Facebook, okay, and the content from Facebook, page heading, okay. Uh, you have different different settings regarding how you want the, the page to look. I won't go into a lot of details because it's very simple, okay. The background color, background color of the post, the page heading and other stuff like that, okay. You just go through them, select which one you think look the, the best, okay. Maybe you will have to make a couple of tests but uh, you will probably find a, find a, let's say, a variation which fits you the best, okay, and your website as well. After you are done with this part, obviously you have to save changes. And now I actually want to show you the page. Okay, let me go to all pages. I think this is the one or no, Facebook news. Let's see our new page because I want you guys to see that this actually works. So this is our new page, guys, okay? As you can see, it has uh, it has taken the content from Facebook, from my Facebook page and created different posts here, okay? And here you go, this is it. Pretty, pretty nice, right? So this is how simple it is to use this plugin, okay? It's very, very simple, it's very useful because uh, as you can see, you, all, you also have this, uh, this sharing button integrated, okay, it displays everything for you. And why is this very helpful, this plugin? Because you'll have new content all the time because you can add as many pages there as you want, okay, you can take uh, content from different pages and uh, basically you'll have new content all the time and it will help you to have 
content on your WordPress website and also rank faster on Google so that you will get more traffic. Why? Because you have more content obviously on your website. Now, thank you very much for your attention and for being here with us. I hope this uh, will be helpful for you and that you will enjoy your new plugin. And if you want to find out more information uh, about our products, please don't forget to check our website, technicforce.com. Thank you very much and we are looking forward to see you in the other videos with our new plugins as well. Bye bye for now. It was Sorin here.